Hello everyone and welcome to the Theory Zone, the dream zone where everything you know and love may just be the result of a coma. Ooh, that was kind of dark. Sorry. Before we start, I just want to say that the theory we are going to be discussing today will differ from the title. But don't worry, we will get to that point. The basic Pokemon theory I want to talk about today is a fairly common one, and that is Ash Ketchup is in a coma. The theory goes that when Ash was riding Misty's bike with Pikachu trying to escape the flock of Spearow and fell off his bike and hit his head, he went into a coma. The entire Pokemon anime from then on is just a coma-induced dream. This would make sense because right after this moment, things start to go Ash's way. Pikachu suddenly obeys him and saves his life, getting rid of the Spearow. And then in like a second, the rain clouds magically go away and a rainbow appears and Ho-Oh flies by. This also explains how everything goes nice and easy for Ash, and all the amazing things that happen to him. Team Rocket is less threatening and menacing, he makes a lot of friends, and basically meets every single legendary Pokemon. Really, the worst things that have happened to him are letting his Pokemon go. Also, this explains why Ash has an age in like 20 years. Personally, I like my theory better, that he's a Time Lord. You can check that out here, but I have to warn you, that was my first video ever, and uh, let me just say, my voice has changed a lot. Anyway, this also explains why every nurse and police officer look exactly the same. There's also a lot of other stuff saying that Brock represents his sexuality, never attracting a female, and Missy represents all girls he cannot obtain because he's in a coma, but we're just gonna skip over that part. So overall, it's a pretty good theory. However, when we look at some of the evidence, it's not as powerful. Ash never even met Team Rocket till the second episode, so the idea that his coma made them less threatening doesn't make any sense. We learn that every Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny look the same because they are all cousins and their names are a family name. Also, when you look at that bike crash, it's not really something that would cause a coma. Heck, it doesn't even look like he hit his head. Plus, what kind of kid has such an enormous sense of imagination that he can create over 700 Pokemon with different regions and different people? Let's be realistic here. He barely knew what a Spearow was. So looking at the evidence, he's not in a coma. Alright, case closed, see you next time. Well, don't think they'll get off that easy, my friend. I can accept that the bike didn't put him to a coma, I can't. But I still cannot accept all the luck and fortune he has had. He meets every single legendary Pokemon. I mean seriously, scientists spend their entire life trying to find a single legendary, and Ash stumbles into finding all of them on accident. Those are some crazy odds. Not to mention the fact that he never ever has to pay for anything. Or at least, money's not a problem. He doesn't earn anything. I don't see Brock and Misty in a fast food restaurant working to support the 10 year old kid who wants to be a Pokemon master. It has to be a dream. So how does this work? Well, that's where the title comes in. Imagine this, a boy of today who is obsessed with playing Pokemon. He's played all the games from Pokemon Red and Blue to Sun and Moon and onwards. He's a nerd and knows all the Pokemon, all the cities, gym leaders, etc. But one day, an accident happens and he's put into a coma. In his coma, his dream comes true for Pokemon to be real. He gets to set off on his own adventure. He resembles his favorite character in all the games, Red. His adventure starts out based off his favorite game, Pokemon Yellow. Along the way, he gets to travel with his favorite gym leaders, favorite characters in the game, and his favorite Pokemon. The evil organization he enjoyed the most, Team Rocket, always following him, causing trouble, meeting every single legendary, and never having anything bad ever happen to him. And that, my friends, is Pokemon. A boy in a coma, living through his favorite video game. And I think on that note, this video will come to a close.